See, that's heartwarming. Now we're getting to the John Lewis that I recognize. There was nothing magical about that. That was just people looking at stuff. Made a narrative around a faceless ice ball. Like, why am I crying over an ad? <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is officially Christmas and I've got my first ever Christmas jumper. I'm very excited. Um, I'm getting well into the Christmas spirit. So as you can see, I have decked out in all the right gear because I'm so excited about this experiencing my first Christmas ever because if you're new around here, I just moved to the UK in May. So this is my first proper Christmas, first proper winter. I'm psyched. One of the first things I learned about Christmas in the UK is that you know it's Christmas time when they play the John Lewis advert on TV. That's the official start to the Christmas period. Um, now, if you don't know what John Lewis is, which I didn't really know until I moved, um, John Lewis is basically a big retailer um, for Australians. It's like Meyer, David Jones. Um, for the US, I imagine it's more like Nordstrom's. They put on an, um, a Christmas advert and everyone tunes in and it's normally a very sweet story. They normally get some big names. Um, then they do a, a marketing campaign around it, obviously, because <laughs> capitalism. But um, I thought for this video, rather than just reacting to this year's um, John Lewis advert, I would react to every John Lewis advert since 2007. That way I would get up to speed <laughs> with British culture, I'll understand, I'll be a bit more involved with everybody um, and I thought it'd be very fun um, to just watch through and just kind of understand more about the John Lewis advert and what makes it so special. So we'll jump into it. First one's in 2007 and it's called The Shadow and people are just making what my room looks like messy. My room looks messy. Oh, it's the building. Oh, so the shadow's gonna be like, oh, they built a dog. They built a dog out of stuff. That's so cute. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. See, I was literally focusing on the dog so much, I didn't realize that they were building a little girl. Oh, and she's gonna have a cape. This is cute. I'm assuming they made those shadows and that out of their own products, which is quite cool to like link the message to the store as well. Quite like that. 2808. How many coffee machines do you reckon they sold this year? This one just seems pretty standard so far. Not doing it for me, not tugging at the heartstrings like John Lewis is supposed to do. It's just people looking at what they want, which I'm into that dog though. You know what, 20, if, if 2008, if everyone looking forward to it, I wouldn't be that excited for it. Do you know what I mean? Like that was, there was nothing magical about that. That was just people looking at stuff. I wasn't into that one. First one, optical illusion. I liked that. So to 2009, the year I graduated high school. See, kids are always magical. Coffee machines seem to be a common occurrence. Very cute. See, this one is sweet. I don't know, they just led so high with um, 2007. That one was just kind of kids running around and having fun, which is very adorable, but like not, nothing too groundbreaking in terms of, you know. The first one was just so like shocking. Like they built the thing and it was cool. The second one, no. This one, better than the one before it, but still not like, is it something I would make a fuss about? Probably not. Is it something I'd remember? No. First one, yeah. So I like the music on this one already. Classic Christmas song. You're selling it. See, I quite like that one. I think the music made it and it was a bit more inclusive. I feel like when you put kids in, you know they're going to be cute. So it's less like, I don't know, less... I feel like they're like taking the easy route. That one felt wholesome. I really like that one. Also had a good song. I like narrative-based ones where they follow one person. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, see that one? I really liked that one. Because everyone relates to that. Everyone was that kid waiting up and counting down the days till Christmas. Like, that one's sweet and relatable and the kid was very cute. Now, that's, see, that's heartwarming. Now we're getting to the John Lewis that I recognize. Snowman are cute, very Christmas. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry over some snowmen. Oh, the snowman found love. No, I love that one. That one's really cute. See that one? See, that wasn't children. They weren't just like taking the easy route. They like made a narrative around a faceless ice ball. Like that's great. <laughs> there once was an animal who'd never seen Christmas. This looks like a film. This is like good quality. I love woodland creatures in the UK. They're so magical. Maybe it's coming from my like lizards and spiders and everything's gonna kill you, but oh. Everything's like a fairy tale here. I like that they mixed real life with 
cartoon. That's quite cool. <gasps> ah, the fox is so cute. And the, I haven't seen a badger yet. I really want to find a badger. Tell me how to find badgers. That one's just on it. Uh, see, I really like the snowman. That one felt not as good and that was 2013. I don't know. The first one was just so good. Still not bad. Honestly, that second one, what were they doing? Where they just sat there and stared at gifts. That was so bad. Monty the penguin. Now we're starting our branding. So we're into 2014. Oh, I can tell I would want a penguin after this. Oh, he's so cute. Mm, he's very sweet. No. Oh. And he found a mate for Christmas. I love penguins when they run with their arms out. They look like anime characters. Oh, and it's a stuffed toy because it's his magic. See, the magic is in the imagination. That's what Christmas is. Oh, sweet. No, that one's good. See, it's a narrative. It's one child, not like stick as many kids in and hope for the best. Um, and it had a cute animal. So that was like pinnacle of cuteness. Man on the Moon, 2015. I think this one might be a favorite. So I think they do the best when they like, like kind of lock in on something that was in your childhood. So like staying up late, a man on the moon, having a stuffed toy you thought was like real. Like when they get in that mindset of a child, it's the best. Also the song is really good on this one too. I'm so sad for the man. Oh, and they sent him a present. That one might be my favorite. I really like that one. That one's making me emotional <laughs> why am i crying over an ad this is stupid but that one's so sweet why am i tearing up <laughs> okay 2016 we're getting into like recent buster the boxer oh fox i've seen some foxes in london very exciting <gasps> hedgehogs another one i want to see haven't seen them yet little girl's very sweet um, Bambi did something not dissimilar to this in the park this morning. It was very funny. Honestly, this is a great ad, but after doing that last one, I just... Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't compare. So we're up to Moz the Monster. See, this one I reckon is going to be good because it's like linking into that childhood nostalgia. The special effects on here are so good. No one got him a present. That's quite cute. I quite like that because the monster was like... Cause he wasn't sleeping and then that's and he got a nightlight actually i like that one it had like a narrative i don't think i spoke much i was just like in it i was like trying to understand there was metaphors it was a lot but it was cool i liked it the boy in the piano 2018 elton john got some names how did, it, how did they afford him is this from the film do these clips of the film mm, don't like that seems like a cop out if if this is from that film they made i don't like it if it's not from the film i like it because i think it looks good but i think it's using like Hollywood to like fill it in. I should listen to my old John Lewis one taking from this. Like how much did he get say all that list, not John Lewis? Imagine getting given a piano when you're like four years old. That's when you know you've got money. <laughs> That's so cute. I like how they tracked it back. Overall, I really like it. Just I just don't like that they're using clips from the film, but the story in that itself is really sweet about like showing when he first touched a piano to like where it led his career. It's quite beautiful. So that leads us to 2019 John Lewis advert. Um, this one just came out the other day. I have seen bits of it online, but I haven't watched the whole thing. Um, however, it seems like I'm the only person who hasn't because it's set 14 million views already. So, so um, I thought we'll watch this one and then that'll be the perfect one to end on. So I just, I prefer the ones where they don't invent characters because I just kind of see that as marketing. But he is very cute. Oh, it does make me sad though. The CGI is very good. Why, why am I like this? Oh, he just wants to play. I like the medieval theme, it's quite cool. And like the Christmas tree, it's very nice. I should get a wreath, that's what I'm getting out of this. I need some wreaths. Oh, never mind. maybe I shouldn't get a wreath. Is there anything better than fresh bread? Real talk. I don't know what that is. They seem happy about it. What is he? Is it a type of food? Yeah, I'll say this is a problem where I'm not pretty sure. No, you're gonna have to tell me. Maybe it's whites with rape churros, it's for food. I don't know. Either way, that was fun. I can definitely see why it has such prestige. Like they are really like little mini films almost and they're barely advertising. The only one that kind of had products were the first two. So my favorites from every John Lewis advert would be, I did really like the first one, but I think my favorite, I think that my absolute favorite is the man on the moon. There's something about an old person who's lonely just gets me. The Elton John one could, if it depends if they were just subbing in, in clips from the film and it was just like an advertisement, advert, if it was an advert for the film, I'm not on board. So I'll stick with Man on the Moon as my favorite. 
You tell me what your favorite is below because I'm sure your opinions are a lot more uh, valid than mine because you've grown up in the cultures. Um, but yes, tell me below what your favorite is. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and remember to hit subscribe so you can see what else I get up to in this Christmas period because you know I'm going to be festive. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.